damage the engine, what better way to fix it than put a bigger turbo on it? Friggin' right. I'll have to ask Trevor about this, so stick around. Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Friggin' Bilsif. Trev, what are you doing with this car? I heard that we uh, might have damaged her on the last time out, bud. Yeah, we damaged her. I think it's C's solid. C's drop, Jim. I also see that you got a bigger turbo. What freaking size is that turbo? Basically an 80 millimeter. 80 millimeter on a VR6, boys. Those peoples. Peoples. And you're also going from standard to automatic. Yep. I'm going to build a TH400 finally. I've been trying to stay stick shift. Just, I don't know why, you know. I like to drive my car. Mm -hmm. Everybody's always said, go TH400, TH400. The car will probably be faster. It'll be a lot faster, yeah. yeah. I was just at the limit of Unless the you had, like, and what do they call them? Things? Sequential? Well, uh, yeah, they basically you can get a T56 and faceplate it and do all the fancy stuff. There you but, go, Jim. Yeah. Just make I her go. I don't have that kind of money. So. But Trevor's going to cut a hole in the side of the panel here, and he's going to come out and through here somewhere no. and meet back over to there. No? No, I'm redoing the whole top. Oh, he's redoing the whole top. Oh, look at What's that down here? Oh, it's your ignition oh, coil box. Oh, hey, I've never gave you a close-up view of this thing like that. I couldn't even use all the power I could make before with that transmission. Really? The moment I turned it up a little bit, I could shift. It just would not shift fast enough to do anything. Right. It was okay around 600 horsepower-ish, but as soon as you start turning up, it didn't like it. Deckard. I'm in Trev's garage right now. I noticed he's got some pipes for my turbo for my Safari. And you got some new ones over here, too, I see. Hmm? Yeah, four-inch exhaust. What do you think? Jim, do you think we should still do that to the safari? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to go light on it, though. I think we're yeah, just going to start, start out. Light. We're going to leave the stock rear end in her and everything. We're just going to put a V8 in it. What is it, a 12-volt, 10-volt? No, 7.5. It's a 7.5 volt? Probably. Oh, you're putting that under your head. But we're just going to run that for now, and if we break it, we break it. That's what I look at it. As my theory on the rear end is as long as it breaks the tires loose and keeps spinning, you'll be all right. If, as soon as it grabs hook traction, no good anymore. So as long as I just make it a tire burner, we're good. Yeah, me too. So, like I said, pull the stereo out and everything like that, and then we'll go from there. But that's enough of me because I don't want to talk about that right now because that's for upcoming videos, not for this one. What's that? Oh, I like that. They look like an LS head. Yeah, that's the milk truck heads. Decent. Hey, and the milk truck transmission right here. And the milk truck transmission. Yeah, built for LED. Decent. I need one of them too. Leave your comments down below if you have one for me. Sponsor the channel by sending me an EL80. Why wouldn't you? It's a 4L80. 4L80, why wouldn't you? <laughs> EL80. E4, it's just like an ECU or an e ESC or, you know, yeah. whatever. It's whatever. all the same shit. It's all the same shit. That's right. What else should I do to my car, Bill? I don't know, leave a comment down below and let me know, let Trevor know what else he should do to his car. Well, paint the front. I'd paint the front bumper. Maybe, you know, get a pair of matching rims would be good. They got matching rims, they're right there. Oh, okay. There they are. There. Oh, okay. He's got the whole black set up. Maybe keep your pussy off the roof. Maybe get a glass guy to maybe fix these moldings. Cause well, yeah, I'm waiting on my glass guys pretty slowly. They look a little cocked over, they do. Somebody used a caravan molding on that one, Chill. That's the wrong molding. Really? Yeah. That's why it rolled in the corners. Well, good thing I got a good glass. Oh, yeah. hey, remember I couldn't look back here before. There you go, hey? You wouldn't let me look at the truck. There you go. Why didn't you want me to look at the truck? All it is is like an air yeah, tank. It's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. No, it's not. Look at that. That's his fuel tank right there. Look at the size of it. That's a big one, Trev. How far does that get you? I'm just teasing. He's got a stock tank. That's a surge tank. That's right. Need one of them for the oil. It's crazy that that turbo bolted up and all my lines work. The yeah. only thing except the cold side. The hot side, the exhaust works, everything. Right Isn't up. this like too close to these though? Or? No. no, that doesn't matter? No, I don't give a shit. I guess they're on the There's exhaust manifold sensors. anyways, aren't they? Easy key sensors. Wow. That's a big one. That's a big one. I got nitrous yeah. to school with, so. I bought a 50 shot just to spool the turbo. Oh, hear that? So I asked Trevor if he wanted to tune my truck today, and he said, no, it's too shitty out today because the damp weather, I guess, affects the tune. I was even going to pay him for it. I don't do it for the money for you, bro. I know you don't, bud, but I still got to pay for the credits. Yeah. So will it make that big of a difference by tuning a stock computer? Just run better and shift better and act better? Oh, frig. Why can't we do it now, then? Because it's shitty. Who cares? I care. Frick. Oh, good All right, we'll wait longer now, man. No He's just like my house. The camera's f***ing everywhere. Hey, keep that out. What? He said... The camera's friggin' everywhere. 
Hey, look at how many friggin' actual VR6 engines do you have sitting around here? Seven. Seven. What transmission is that from? That thing's huge. That's what she said. Trev, you got your own little perk shop here. Yeah. Oh, those rims are awesome. Are yeah. those rims? Yeah, I got a whole set. Oh, it's decent. I need to get tires. They're skinnies, too. They look good on the safari. Hey, anybody one that needs 18-inch wheels? There you go, 18-inch wheels. Tires? Tires? How much? I don't know. They're brand new. Still got the prickly. Brand on. new. 600 bucks takes them. No. 350. Oh, 350 takes 350 them. 350 cash. 350 what, cash. Are they? they are. What do we got here, Trev? 235, 40, 18. Decent. They are in good shape. Yeah, what are they? They're summer tires, right? Traction, treadwear, 260. Well, summer tires, but what the hell's the difference? Put them on an Audi, they'll be winter tires. Hey, did you watch that video when I was doing that ship? That was oh, you on the jet ski, like eh? 35, 40, 18. Is that what the other one was? Yeah, that was the other one. Was. That was you on the jet ski when I was doing the ship, eh? On the was jet it? ski? Yeah. Remember he said he seen a guy on a gold jet ski? Yeah. What was that? What? You're on one of my videos. It's been I'm on like 20 year video. It must be Trevor or Corey that was behind you. Yeah. That little fucker works good. I need one of them. Mr. Heater, Big Max, boys. Girls, Peebles? She looks pretty small. Why do they call it a Big Max? Aw, dick. I don't even use any of that shit anymore because I got my car coated at Straight Line Auto Body. So I don't even have to use any of that shit. Straight anymore. Line Auto Body. Not this one, Andy. Your buddy did a good job on that. What, this one? He tinted this? Yeah. Not the back? Yeah. Oh, what's going on, Kurt? Get over here and hey, fix that. He forgot to finish this piece, too. He said he was going to get a Yeah, and what happened, Kurt? Get on her, bud. Frig. And why'd you go around the corner so far here? <laughs> oh, hey, you dick. You're over, bud. I mean, I'm going to come over here and pick the other side to death, too. Oh, look at this. Crease. Gap. Dirt. Tell him what this car is. This car is Trevor's car. <laughs> Hey, you know whose car it is. I'm just teasing you, Kurt. But hey, you know what? Get over here and fix it anyways and finish it. Why wouldn't you? Turn your right better. Hey, look, Trevor, you got more piping, for God's sakes. Oh, I got piping. Holy. Yeah. Piping everywhere. My shed's full of piping. Well, why would I buy hose pipe then? I'll just buy it from you. Well, why would I buy turbo piping when you have all this piping? I'll just buy it from you when you do the van. Sure. I won't need that much, right? Do you have any headers? We're gonna have to make those headers, I think, for that van, aren't we? Uh, no, we'll just... no, I can't do two. Why? I want to keep the AC, and the turbo will go where the battery is now, but I can't move the AC. Sorry, dude, I want the AC. I think it'd be cool. That van gets fucking hot, too, in the summertime, so. Leave your comments down below if you think I should ditch the AC or keep the AC. Trevor is gonna say ditch, but he knows damn well deep down it's cool to have AC. It is. But it's cooler to have twin turbo. No, it just works better. What do you what do you do in a five three or six liter or four eight? Whatever comes up, it's a good deal. Well, if you do a four eight, you should do twins. If you do a five three or a six liter, at least okay. an S four seven five. So I'm looking for a five five three or a six. I want to do one turbo. I want the S S four eighty is what I, you want. I want. I want the AC. What's in here? Overflow. Uh, hopefully nothing. We keep going back to his car. What's that down there? That looks like an oil leak thing room a bobber these blocks are weird looking eh they look like a tractor leave your comments down below if you don't agree with me on that they look like a, something out of a tractor what does the vr6 blocks Get out of here. they look like a tractor block i think nothing wrong about it. i'm just saying they look like a tractor like a four-cylinder tractor block it's a six cylinder i know it's a six cylinder but i'm saying they look like a four-cylinder tractor block i need to fix this hood <laughs> nothing wrong with that you keep finding different things you need to cut out do you no, that was on the old car. Remember, Holy I had a little tube front end. Fuck, what's really going on? Yeah, I fixed it all on the other side. But now it's in the way of that one, probably, right? No, it closes. Pretty it closes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Like You're going to melt the hood. It's magic. Uh, good thing that's the cold side. Oh, boy. What's really going on? you got to fix that, too. Yeah, I know. You already fixed part of it. Yeah, there was a whole circle here, remember? Yeah, I know. This was all cut out. And this is a big hole here, and there's two big holes here. We fixed it already. Good job. You can't even tell. Here. Good job, Corey. I close all the holes, and he finishes it off. Sloppy seconds, eh, Corey? Why wouldn't you? Bye. Anyways, that's just a little update for Monday, because... We're bored. Yesterday was Sunday, and we were at the bread truck yesterday. Yeah. So we figured we'd do a little Monday night video. I gotta go home. Had a rough day at work today, we did. And he turned still his work clothes. Look. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hey, okay. where you yes. Let me know if you want to see more videos of me and Trevor. Hey, why wouldn't you? But we are going to tune my truck. We got to do a video on that. Yeah. We've been saying that for a year. We're we doing it. We'll see what I can fit in. All right. See, there you go. So, until next time, love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And you know what to do for now.